Right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Salt Mines, where we watch people playing StarCraft and basically losing their uh, very, very loose grip on reality and <laughs> blaming the game for their losses, blaming their opponent, and calling each other silly names. Speaking of which, we are starting off, interestingly, uh, we've got Sneaky Turtle in the top right against Pudgy Poultry in the bottom left. Pudgy Poultry says, good luck, have fun. Sneaky Turtle says, is your name implying you're a fat cock? <laughs> Uh, cock, of course, for non-English speakers, another word for chicken, poultry chicken as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, Pudgy Poultry says 100% honest, it's not. Sneaky Turtle says, haha, okay, okay. Pudgy Poultry says, look, I actually realized two years after choosing that this name could be misinterpreted. He's like, uh, yeah, I, I just chose this as a kid, it sounded funny, and then I found out from people on the internet that apparently it could be misinterpreted as uh, trying to describe the fact that I have a chode. Uh... Uh, of course, the XD smiley coming out from Sneaky Turtle. But what about chicken titties? I don't, what? I don't know what that's got to do with anything. Uh, lol, sorry, I'm done. I personally a big fan of chicken titties, chicken breasts myself. High in protein, that lean meat. Very, very good lean source of protein. Um, Jim Bros. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Uh, I know Special, the uh, Terran Pro Gamer. He, uh, he was doing a lot of uh, nice, like, low-calorie foods from, like, Coach Greg, and then he started doing um, uh, the bro, the bro, the gym bro diet, where he just eats, like, chicken and broccoli and rice now. It, it Honestly, I was like, dude, that's so depressing. He's like, no, it's really good, man. I really enjoy it. I don't know why. It's like, I know it's pretty, pretty bland, but I just, I just really enjoy it. I'm like, hey, man, all power to you. He's lifting heavy pieces of metal and having a good time. These two opponents have decided to chill out on the, uh, the the chatter, though, as it is a TVT. What about... So, so, so sorry I'm done, says Sneaky Turdy. Pudgy Poultry there, of course, says lolol. Now, Pudgy Poultry going for an engineering bay. This is a planetary fortress expand. So, Pudgy Poultry is going to play some Super Turtle Terran in this TVT. Both of them... Uh, actually, a Reaper first for Poultry. So, Poultry's going to Reaper harass, whereas Sneaky Turtle's just building Marines. And is going for that high ground command center. So, a slightly lower command center for Sneaky Turtle. And also floating an immense amount of gas. Both players at about 40 APM, so we're probably imagining this one's in the lower end of Gold League, it's, it's just my rough guess, but we'll wait and see as the players go. Um, we can see, look, like, you know, command centers and barracks are on control groups. There's rally points for these buildings. It's definitely not a bronze or low silver game. As I say that, there's no rally points on the production of Sneaky Turtle yet, but Sneaky Turtle also has the production somewhat control grouped. The Reaper does a nice little grenade there. Poultry's gonna go for a scout around the base see what can happen. Oh, SCV's pulled off the line. Hey, that's free damage. Just should get on out of there. Oh, he's even gonna get an SCV if he focuses. Oh, he wants it. He wants it. So gets it. Oh, and gets out. Pudgy Poultry in and out. Very nicely done. Rallying a Marine out behind it and uh, hasn't really been macroing behind it. So one SCV damage for floating 600 minerals at home. Can't say it's necessarily worth it as Poultry is still staring at the Reaper by the looks of it since nothing else is happening at home. Still nothing else happening at home. Oh my God. What is Poultry doing? And now Poultry makes an orbital, not a planetary? Wasn't the whole point in the engineering bay to make a planetary? No, it was to go plus one infantry armor, three and a half minutes. I take back everything I said. This is a Silver League game, guys. <laughs> there is no way it's that high level. So we're going to be at that point in the game now. I, I, I think I might have talked on this show in the past about my experiences playing low level Dota. Um, when I played a lot of Dota, like just at internet cafes in the, in the 2000s. Um, but I never really got into Dota 2, and I remember like one time my friends were playing, I was like, okay, I'll try playing it a bunch, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, so I don't feed too much, I'll go play some games on my own, see if I can just get the hang of it, the way the characters have changed, the new abilities. And playing with like the low level players was one of the funniest social experiences I've ever had, with just people who are objectively the worst players in the game in the bottom leagues, constantly shouting at each other and me for like, they're like, you're not following the pro meta. You didn't do the thing. And I'd be like, oh, sorry. Like I literally, you know, I haven't played since 2008 Dota 1. I, 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 can, you, can you tell me what I should do? What, what am I doing wrong? Like, I'm, I'm happy to learn. They'd be like, no, you're, you're feeding, you're, you're, you're lying. And I'm like, no, really, it's my first game. And they're like, well, you need to uh, do this thing that, that this top pro gamer does in tournaments. And I'm like, I somehow have a feeling that's not the most important thing for a low level player to figure out when you're just figuring out like what the abilities do and stuff. I think I think it, fundamentals might be more important, but <laughs> there is often this like, the lower level you are, the, the more convinced 
that it's all of the things you watch in pro matches that are holding you back when it really is just the basics, right? And I think this holds true ac across a lot of fields. So I am wondering if this is going to be a game where, where one or both of these players even start just uh, making some absolutely absurd claims. Oh, Pudgy Poultry going for the double Silver League turrets behind the main mineral line. <laughs> oh my god i love that people keep doing this i'm like why why like imagine if a battle cruiser just flies in it flies in from over here and just stands there and it's like yeah the turrets protect nothing nothing can come off the edge of the map why are they there oh no it drop flies straight through the marine rally in the middle of the map and he unloads right there but poultry doesn't click on the medevac so he doesn't stop it unloading oh my god Sneaky Turtle going for a double drop. There's no units at home. Guys, Poultry's dead. Poultry's got a siege tank about to pop out and almost no units producing. Oh no, Poultry is in huge trouble. Poultry's trying to go an armory and a fusion core right now, trying to go like battle cruiser mech while upgrading bio. Oh my god, why are you getting bio upgrades if you're going for battle cruisers and tanks and mech units? It makes no sense. Oh, this is that level of play where nothing makes sense. On the other hand, Pudgy Poultry is up almost 20 workers, so is way ahead in that regard. Sneaky. Turtle, though, is going to do a lot of damage with this push. Oh, Stim's in, but that Siege Tank. Oh, big shot! Big shot on the Marines. Another big shot on the Marines. The SCVs need to pull away. The Missile Turret's actually actually going to zone out the Metamax from going behind the Mineral Line, which is cute. Those Marines stim for with three Stim Marines. And ooh, quite a few SCVs go down. Still up 12 workers, though, so it looks like that tank is going to try and move forward and siege this base. Both players floating large amounts of money. Now, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just feel like this is the best point in the ladder for people having just like out there views on the game so I'm, I'm already excited and there hasn't really been any rage just a bit of banter about the uh the names of the players so far for those who haven't watched the show definitely check out last week's show we learned a, a a lesson which we've learned a few times in this show and i've seen many times over the years about uh taunting your opponents and gloating when you're ahead in the game and how that sometimes can bite you in the butt can't get too ahead of yourself Oh, 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 he's, he, pol Poultry's going for the break. Poultry's going for the break, but Sneaky Turtle stims forward with the Marines. But wait, doesn't A move them. They just move there. They're not fighting. What are the Marines doing? <laughs> and the Liberator Sieges. Sneaky Turtle's trying to do some very fancy micro and is actually getting a fair amount of, of, of damage on these tanks from it. But it's just kind of a, a huge amount of resources is just banking up for both sides. And oh, barely sieges up outside of missile turret range. That's actually a very good lib siege. And uh, behind it, what do we got? More libs, more marines, and tanks are there. Um, the problem is no SCVs have built for Sneaky Turtle in the longest time, and the Liberator is going to fly right into the missile turret. Oh, no. And there's more Silver League turrets behind the other base as well. Oh, my God. Can you guys imagine if these turrets... Like, you might be like, but look, pig. People always say this. Whenever I talk about Silver League turrets, there's always people in the comments like, but look, the turrets killed some stuff. I'm like, yeah, can you imagine if they built the turrets here and here and actually shot the drop down before it unloaded? I think it would have been a little bit more effective, <laughs> you know? I don't mind a turret here. Move this turret up to the right a little bit. Or if you're taking this third, put the turrets out there instead. But uh, yeah. you uh, like turrets way too much, this Sneaky Turtle. That is actually an astute observation. That is absolutely true. Pudgy Belchie's like, yeah, I do. Meanwhile, going for four gases. Um, both sides aren't really building much stuff. They're spending time typing while floating 3,000 and 1,500 resources, respectively. Worked, didn't it? Says Poultry. Sneaky Turtle says, eh, generally a pretty bad idea, which is absolutely correct. Now Pudgy Poultry is going to build even more turrets around the main base. And you know what? One of my favorite things about StarCraft is once someone's shown a move, usually they're going to keep doing it over and over again until you get to very high level. So like if someone's dropped your main, they're usually going to keep dropping your main, right? So just basic reactions like, oh, you dropped me, now I'll build drop defense, and you'll come in again. It actually works up to a very high level. You know, a lot of people haven't read Sun Tzu about <laughs> you know, there's many lessons about unpredictability and uh, not doing the same thing over and over. This is actually a good push, though, because, oh, Poultry does get one shot off. But look at that. That third is wide open. And these libs, I bet they try to go to the left and run into the missile turrets. Nonetheless, great push for Sneaky Turtle. The only problem for Sneaky Turtle is Sneaky Turtle just has no follow-up. And oh, there is. Yeah, that's a missile turret. Get out of there. Sneaky Turtle might get upset about these turrets. Was already not happy about them before. It's just going to siege up this location. Now, this is the point where you've gained position. You should build SCVs. Oh my god, how many idle SCVs are there? Let's go to Sneaky Turtle's vision. Oh, we don't get on this overlay. Sorry, we don't get the idle worker button. I'm going to do a quick count. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. There's six idle workers for Sneaky Turtle right now. Sneaky Turtle trying to do a cheeky Viking land. Could just move the tank over and siege the gases. But Sneaky Turtle, 
doing the I'm going to stare at microing single units while floating thousands of resources, the law of diminishing returns. Uh, definitely something that hasn't been introduced to the Sneaky Turtle. The Sneaky Turtle is building a Thor behind this as well. And, you know, could actually just move the tank there and then start sieging the libs forward little bit by little bit. But the tank is way too far back to cover it and Sneaky Turtle gets a bit far forward, buddy. There we go. That's, that's a good move. But the Marines have to be careful not to chase too far forward. Oh, man. This is looking really, really rough for Poultry. Poultry does build a Battlecruiser, though. Battlecruiser right now, there's no answer to that. These Marines are going to stim into the tank, and the Marines, not a good move. But so much over micro with these limbs, or it's like, just move the tank forward to actually cover them. These Marines could run around and do okay, but I think the tank's almost in range. Ooh, the Marines get one lib. Oh, they barely get the second one before going down as well. Sneaky Turtle still just microing these limbs. The Marines will take that out. Siege tank falls, and that's a big problem right now. Poultry is still up 9 SCV, so it does have the income advantage. I think Sneaky Turtle probably feels like they're ahead, because it's like, hey, I've got you contained, but it's like, dude, you've never started mining from your natural properly. I don't know the last time Sneaky Turtle looked at home. I'm on Sneaky Turtle's camera. Sneaky Turtle's looking at home, queues up 5 SCVs on the natural command center, which, by the way, is not in a control group. Is not building SCVs out of the main command center, nor changing the rally point, and has done nothing to move the idle workers around. Amazing. This is StarCraft. Um, hot tip for anyone, guys. Doesn't matter your level. If you're overflowing thousands of resources, box your SCVs, build a command center, build a command center. Oh, Battlecruiser teleports in into two missile turrets, though. Oh, no. Pudgy Poultry getting a taste of their own missile turret medicine. And there's a Thor, which swaps into that single fire mode, which is so good at killing BCs. That BC is just going to go down for no kills. Oh, you're kidding me. For some reason, by the way, that Thor could shoot it from over there, but moved right underneath the BC. Oh, five... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it goes down. Does get the armory. Okay, so it kills an armory and wastes some mining time. The SCVs are going to go back to mining, but at this level of play, it's far from certain that your opponent is going to put their workers back on minerals and gas. See, Sneaky Turtle puts back on minerals, but hasn't put back on gas yet and might forget to for the rest of this game. You can see Sneaky Turtle is kind of staring at the main. Oh, my God. And has all these... Wait, can you please leave? The game is basically over and you're just being kind of BM by staying? <laughs> Sneaky Turtle. It's like, what are you talking about? He's had more economy than you all game long. More more economy than you all game long. I'm good, thanks, says Bunch of Poultry. Okay, shit dick. Oh. <laughs> this Hellion run by could be running in and killing all these workers. Instead, instead, Poultry is responding to comments. Um, I genuinely might have left if you didn't say shit, says Poultry. Would you? Why would you? You're winning this game. Legitimately, Poultry is winning this game. Has actually better upgrades, plus two armor for some reason on the Marines. They both have stim and shields. I, I, I'm always so confused. It's like... <laughs> it's like, I feel like 50% of Terran players on the ladder, especially everyone like gold two and below, would just benefit from like understanding that just playing mech units or just playing bio units is way better than trying to do both. Because it's just, you end up making all these upgrades and then you've only got a handful of Marines that you've invested all the upgrades in. And you've put all your money into these mech units, but you haven't upgraded them. It's just better to have a lot of one thing you've actually upgraded. Poultry's going to take two commands and is kind of hidden out to the left. It's trying to build a lot of Marines, but with no medevac. So 56 Marines with way better upgrades could straight up win the game. Especially if the tanks aren't sieged. And Sneaky Turtle's macro abilities are lacking to say the least. Um... I mean, <laughs> plus two bio weapons is on the way, ship upgrades. There's still BCs, which are the best harassment unit. The trick with BCs is to send them across the map, fly them through the base, and then teleport out of there. I think Poultry, honestly, has just started playing better, though. Let's go, let's go into the other camera of Poultry here. Poultry just got called a shit dick after being asked to leave. And I really feel like Poultry has just stepped up their game and is, like, really, like, F you. I am gonna, I am gonna level this up right now. Kick spanning to the corners along the left side, going for a battle cruiser harass. Marines set up outside the base, ready to ambush a move out. I mean, Poultry is clearly going into like competitive mode now, and I bet the APM is higher. Well, it's higher than it was for themselves in the early game, still lower than Sneaky Turtle, though. I don't know how Sneaky Turtle has almost 100 APM. It's definitely not efficient Upgrade. because I have seen players with about 45 APM macro better than that. But uh, nonetheless, 34 SCVs for Sneaky Turtle, still no orbital there. And he's used all of his scans, by the way, that he saved up. Meanwhile, Pudgy Poultry scans the third base locations and is coming down the right side. So the Battlecruisers are going to do a run-by in the main, but there's Viking Thor turret everywhere. And the Thors in general, as long as they all pull out their 250mm Punisher cannons, which it looks like, I 
think they all have. Yeah, yeah, they've all pulled out their Punisher cannons. They're gonna counter BC super easy. Um, looks like a Viking's gonna go out for Sneaky Turtle, but Planetaries are up, so those bases are safe. No actual workers mining on them yet, though. So Poultry's gonna have to actually build those workers if they wanna move forwards. Poultry's gotta get out of there. You do not wanna fight into Viking turret Thor. Could do a double Yamato to take out the Thor, but, oh. I don't know where the other Yamato is. Did he just... Oh, I guess he yamato the turret, maybe? Anyways, uh, get out, get out, get out. Teleport, teleport, get out, get out, get out. Oh my god, the, the Thors do so much damage. If you don't teleport right now, they're gonna die. Does teleport home. Pudgy Poultry with the save. And Poultry's still going for Mass Marine that do have better upgrades. For some reason, Sneaky Turtle's upgrading, but he's also going Cloaked Ghosts and Nukes right now while getting two more factories, so... We've definitely got two players that just like to build random mixtures, hodgepodges of units. Two corner bases going up, does queue up SCVs on both of them now. Oh man, a lot of over oversaturated workers there. So Pudgy is definitely trying to go hardcore. Turtle's basically saying get out. And Turtle I think is just saying, oh, I'm gonna counter your army. If you're building BCs, I have Thor Viking, I win. And that's true if your opponent only has BCs. But there's also mass marines, and those marines have way better upgrades. 66 marines extra for Pudgy Poultry, up about 50 supply, and of course those marines have an extra two armor upgrades, which means they're gonna do so much better than your marines. Now Turtle has nukes coming though, so nukes could absolutely win this game, but I mean, I, I, I really struggle to wonder what you're doing as Sneaky Turtle in this game. Okay, running, okay, I see, okay. There's a single cloak ghost that's getting microed down the left side of the map to call in a nuke, I see. All right, and it's being stared at the whole way, and it's, it is on a control group. It's on control group zero, funnily enough. It's not a bad nuke. There's quite a few SCVs on that base. Poultry's going to run forward on the right side and take this base out, though. That's going to be an easy pickoff. Does get that before it can go down, and here we go. Whoa, big nuke lands. Whole mineral line does go down. Not a bad move at all. There's already another nuke that's been built. Could rebuild that first one as well. Yamato's coming forward on a tank. Some Vikings and Libs coming out, but the Marines could easy take care of those Vikings. Those Vikings chase too far. Poultry struggling. Oh, the Marines stepped forward. That's what we're looking for. And the Marines of Sneaky Turtle. Run away, Sneaky Turtle. What are you doing, buddy? Oh my god, it's so many Marines. Poultry's got this. Poultry can just stim an A move. The Marines, half of them stimmed, half of them not, but it doesn't matter. The numbers are insane. No planetary, no tanks, no widow mines. Any splash damage would murder this army. Oh, why are you running away? You, you, where's the game in the bag? Just a move. Of course, uh, at this level, player's not the best at judging fights. Chooses to back away and give Sneaky Turtle time to make a planetary. Now, what's great about this level of players, usually players will give them time to get the defenses and then headbutt into them. Um, you shit dicks. Oh, plural of shit dicks. I like it. I swear. Pudgy Poultry, like I said, waits for the planetary to be almost done. He's going to run in and click it. No mass repair for Sneaky Turtle. No build. Uh, even though there was building armor, it goes down because of the plus two attack. The Lib Thor is getting overwhelmed. You shit dicks. I swear, says Turtle. You dirty shit dicks, you. How dare you. And it looks like the siege tank fires from the high ground. The Marines are going to take out the natural. The BC is going to come forward. Remember, they've got... They're uh, just air superiority now that the Thors are gone, and they can Yamato. And we're gonna Yamato go for the Vikings. Tank's gonna get focused down here after the Marines die. And the Battle Cruisers will fly north, taking down the BC. The Marines are gonna stem in. The men with gun reign supreme. And it looks like an army of shit dick Marines. All you need to win in TVT, gang. That, and you know, the ability to actually build workers at some point in the game. <laughs> Sneaky Turtle did some exceptional pushes. But whenever the push found damage, rather than just leaving the siege up in position, saying, hey, this is a problem for you to deal with, and then converting into a lead by macroing, they never did it. Just never did it. Sneaky Turtle's macro, just there was never an X plan. Oh, I thought the game was over and I should leave, says Pudgy Poultry. Sneaky Turtle says, it was, you shit dick! And brings out the homophobic ones, calls them a Fajot. Uh, Pudgy Poultry says, then, well, then why didn't you win? Then you went full homo queer? That's a new one! I haven't heard that! <laughs> oh my god! My favorite as well is like, really in 2022, you know, calling someone a homo queer. Like, oh, that's the ultimate insult. Because you turtled like a piece of dog shit. That's the only reason it worked. Then you went full for show. I don't know what exactly is giving him hom uh, homo, homo vibes about this army. I guess a whole lot of men with guns. There's bound to be some uh, good times that happen in the barracks bunk beds. You know what I'm saying. Die in a fire, shit dick. Stop staying in games you have no business being in. Okay, so Sneaky Turtle 
has left the building, has left this reality, everybody. Sneaky Turtle has left this reality. So you're literally locking into this. And then says AFK Queer, I think basically saying, I'm going to leave my buildings floated in the corner and waste your time. Die mad about it, you homophobic piece of shit, says Pudgy Poultry. Dude, this Pudgy Poultry must have the biggest justice stiffy right now. Like, this one must, it must feel so good to be in the situation that Poultry's in. There's nothing better than your opponent just saying shit. Like, you know, initially it was like, just leave shit, dick. And then you're like, yeah, whoa, dude, what the hell, man? Like, I might have, but just being a dick. Ha 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 Oh, this is a really good one for those who are inexperienced uh, shit talkers. Just remember, if you just spam ha 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 ha, it basically lets your opponent know that you're actually uh, not affected by anything they're saying, and you, in fact, uh, think it's funny, and therefore, you know, uh, you're not affected by their insults, and that you're actually winning the argument. So if you're ever in an argument with anyone, real life, uh, in a store, if you're, you know, a retail worker, work, you know, dealing with a Karen or anything like that, remember, just go, ah, ha, 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 and then say, uh, angry shit dick, homophobic, like that's an insult, LMFA, <laughs> die of AIDS and monkey pox, wow. Okay, so Sneaky Turtle, um, I don't know what happened to you that you just keep going back, but I gotta say, much like the strategy option of don't just do the same thing over and over again, in this case, just do a push and zero macro behind it, Sun Tzu, we talked about it in the last week, don't do the same strategy 15 times in a row, well guess what? Don't use the same insult 15 times in a row because it might catch your opponent off guard, maybe strike a nerve on the first one or two times you call them a homophobic slur. But when you go for the 16th variation of essentially the same thing, it doesn't work. It's like saying, you're stupid, you're dumb, you're a moron, you're low IQ. By the time you get to low IQ, it's lost all meaning. You're basically repeating yourself in different ways and you're, you're softening the blows. You've got to condition them to be ready for one thing and then BAM! You know, you go for the head and then you surprise them with the liver shot. That's what you've got to do. Sneaky Turtle though, unfortunately here, just a creature of unbridled rage at being able to win the StarCraft game due to their inability to play well and does end up just raging and frothing at the mouth. Kind of standard. Oh me, oh my. Well, guess what? We've got a special episode today, apparently, because, uh, yeah, it's Sneaky Turtle vs. Pudgy Poultry, the ever-elusive ladder rematch. This is so rare. It's Moon Dance, Pudgy Poultry in the bottom right, Sneaky Turtle in the top left, and Sneaky Turtle starts off with Mr. Fat Dick, and a, a kind of like a thinking hand on the hand on the chin face there. And going for a 14 gas first. It's meant to be a 15 gas first, buddy. Where's the next SCV? Oh my god, Sneaky Turtle is already so ready and rearing for revenge and picturing himself throttling his opponent and getting revenge that he's not building SCVs. How is Pudgy Poultry somehow also a synonym for Chunky Monkey? I don't... Okay, so this is... Is this a... Is this a homophobic insult or... I don't... Chunky? I don't... Opens Google. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I just almost dropped my keyboard there. <laughs> On my second computer I have off to the side. Chunky Monkey is an American slang for an overweight person. Yeah, I mean that's... So what's overweight got to do... How is Pudgy Poultry someone else's cinnamon food? Alright, I'm not really following the, the line of reasoning. Then again, is it really a line of reasoning? I mean, Sneaky Turtle just pulled three SCVs for one worker harass! Oh my god, you're kidding me! Oh, this is the best feeling. Oh my god, Pudgy Poultry is so ahead from this. Now, if Pudgy Poultry can just like keep up any semblance of macro, you're gonna be miles ahead against this player. Sneaky Turtle is like, yeah, I trapped you! But this costs so much more for Sneaky Turtle than it ever costs for Pudgy Poultry. Now, I would say Pudgy Poultry is way ahead, and they are in that they're making an orbital, but they're actually down an SCV. So both players have missed multiple workers this game. I do like that Pudgy Poultry has done what I do when I'm dealing with a crazy person on the internet in a video game. And I focus all of my efforts on burning them with holy fire. I don't talk to them at all. I burn them with my gameplay. And that's exactly what Poultry is doing right now. Poultry is not engaging. Sneaky Turtle's like, oh, look at me. I don't know if that's, oh, is that nerdy face? It, it looks like it's got glasses and a bit of a dorky smile. I, 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 I don't know how you can be proud of pulling three SCVs to kill one. It's really not impressive. That's a spicy meat a ball. That's a spicy meat a ball, eh? So, okay, so the three SCVs were Italian, and 
they're referring to the SCV that they, all three of them drilled at once as a spicy meatball. I mean, I have a kind of messed up imagination, guys. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of a, is this like a prison thing? I don't know what, I don't know what. I, I, I think right now I'm trying to derive logical meaning from something that is completely lacking that. I think I should just stop trying to understand anything they're saying. Poultry, I think is quite distracted. Mackering way worse than the previous game is building two depots at once, a command center for some reason, uh, an engineering bay really early, which is the worst thing they both did in the last game. Well, you're not very talkative. Sneaky Turtle right now realizing that getting under the opponent's skin and tilting them is probably the best way to try and win this game. But, you know, Poultry, a lot of players, they get really upset by the guy who shit talks. Shit talk is usually the psychological weapon used by the player who doesn't have many skills. I saw it many times when I was playing, you know, uh, traditional sports growing up as well. There'd always be the kids who shit talk, who try to cheat, who try to like, you know, dig the elbow into your ribs when the ref isn't looking and shit like that. They were never the they were never the greatest players. They were always usually the uh, the ones who just kind of relied on dirty tricks to try to get there. And it's the same thing here. The thing is, is it working? Sneaky Turtle's going double starport, and for some reason is floating a factory that I think he thinks this is blocking the Reaper ledge, but it can still jump up that whole area. <laughs> and is now building a command center, still no orbital. An appalling open, Sneaky Turtle has not built an SCV in the last few minutes. Now, um, Pudgy Poultry is going plus one and stim again. So we're once again doing a, a bio build, kind of. Why? Why are you so quiet? Okay, at this point, Sneaky Turtle is just, uh-oh. I, I think Pudgy Poultry may have found the kryptonite. Sneaky Turtle's so angry typing, accidentally cancels the command center and just starts building three libs at a time. I don't know if that was an accident or not, but canceling the command center, I mean, there's no reason you would do that. You don't even have enough gas to build any more libs. You're gonna be floating. All right, poop dick, we can just play. Poop dick, really? Oh my God, this is so bad. This is so silly. Now, the problem is there's an armory. Pudgy Poultry's build, I really, I'm not a big fan of. It's gonna try to go BC again, but has nothing on the ground. And these libs, if you don't have anything to shoot up, like you could be in big trouble, but Pudgy Poultry is getting the Silver League turrets again behind the mineral line. That will actually help first the libs, funnily enough. But the natural's wide open, as is the third base, and an extra barracks does start to go down. Libs now moving across the map. Uh, we've got more and more libs. So it's, it's just a mass lib play. I like Sneaky Turtle doing alternative macro, queuing two libs on one starport that can only build them one at a time. Oh, actually he fixed it. Okay, Sneaky Turtle fixed it. Oh my god. Okay, so Sneaky Turtle at this point is so desperate to get this win, but he's already at 19 SCVs versus 33, almost half. Is so focused on doing this like annoying tactical play, but no macro fundamentals. I really think of that old video of that guy's pet turtle trying to have sex with his shoe. You guys know the video I'm talking about. If you don't, oh my god, you're missing a piece of internet history. The Liberators come in and take out a whole bunch of SCVs. Unlike in that video where the turtle can't quite make contact with the crevice underneath his shoe, going, eh. Uh, uh. We're actually, we're actually looking at the Liberators find massive damage. There's just nothing that shoots up. And I, I think Poultry might be in big, big trouble here. The Liberators are going to deny mining completely on the main. Oh no, Marines are coming home ever so slowly. There are some Marines popping out that are doing some damage. Good pull on the SCVs. You're still up four SCVs. And most importantly, you have three command centers, which is massive. But oh no, these Marines are in Liberage. Oh no, and they just build a Viking. Please build a Viking. Anything that shoots up. If the Libs siege correctly, Poultry will not be able to mine. Will not be able to pop out units other than a Viking and, and will potentially lose this game. Oh, the Marines are just getting hammered, man. Oh, I really thought there was a lib zone on the ramp. Apparently not. Oh, this is a huge mistake. Poultry, no, 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 you needed to click here. <gasps> Poultry's still not building a Viking. Sneaky Turtle still doing zero macro behind it. So the, the great thing about this is Sneaky Turtle has no follow up. Two Hellions and six Marines are going to come. Not exactly the scariest ground. He's going to try and build missile turrets to deal with Liberators. Oh my god, and why are we still making upgrades? We're gonna start plus one ship weapons. Okay, finally, I think Pudgy Poultry starts plus one ship weapons and says, wait a second, ship weapons, ship weapons, ship, 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 ships, and realizes they can build spaceships, builds a Viking, which can of course shoot up and deal with this. But if the Marines are already there and they kill the Viking, this is so much damage. Oh man, I think Poultry is dead. Yeah, it has one SCV mining. I mean, the, the Marines and the Hellions can just walk up on top of the production and win this game. Easy, says Sneaky Turtle. Oh, what a, what a, I mean, if anyone here is a poop dick, it's you, Sneaky Turtle. You're the poop dick in this scenario. Viking will pop out and kill a single Liberator. Poultry, you need to get that going. Also, Sneaky Turtle, you need to move the Marines there. Sneaky Turtle, instead of moving the Marines up to kill the Viking, runs the lib to the natural. Now moves the Marines up. What are you, what are we doing? Building a barracks? Oh my God, he's trying to build barracks. Oh no. 
The Viking is killing the Libs. The Marines are not moving up to kill the Vikings. Instead, he's unseaging the Liberator. Sneaky Turtle showing the absolutely just insane amount of IQ involved in this match. Finally, the Viking chases into that, and that goes down, but... Dude, this is uh, an absolute disaster. The command center has fallen. If Sneaky Turtle doesn't doesn't finish this game off with this push, it would be one of the most impressive inabilities to finish I've ever seen. It would literally be. I mean, if 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 that's the case, this is the equivalent in terms of a, a romantic encounter of being unable to finish with a Victoria's Secret model. I mean, come on. It's it, it, the situation is gifted to you as Sneaky Turtle. Sneaky Turtle's losing the lips. Get the Viking. Get it. No Viking micro. No pudgy poultry. Pudgy Poultry, what are you doing, mate? Oh, no. He's going to start trying to run these SCVs away. The command center is floating away. The crazy thing is there's no follow-up, no orbital, no command centers. So Sneaky Turtle literally has no, no backup, has no follow-up at all. Sneaky Turtle is the player who enjoys staring at their units shooting things so much, they just never look at their base. They never they never do anything. The Marines are trying to come over. One, there's two unupgraded Marines building at a time. The Liberated decides to siege in range of a missile turret. My lord. Okay, at this point, Sneaky Turtle truly is the sort of opponent where you could... Oh my god, he's just moving past and losing Marines to a Marine as well. What are you doing? Oh, he's just, he's just moving to the command center. You could literally set up a pointy stick, drive it into the ground, and then be like, hey, and he will run at you and impale himself on, on the pointy stick. That is the level of tactics and strategy we're seeing from Sneaky Turtle. Sneaky Turtle finally realizing, oh, there might be a back base. Hasn't reinforced this push literally in forever. Has nothing except two libs and one marine. How incompetent can you... And he's now going to build a barracks. A, another barracks to build unupgraded marines. That'll get it done. And literally doesn't even queue back to mining. Pulls two SCVs so one can stand there and tell the other to do the work. The, the, the absolute goal to shit talk when you are this bad at StarCraft is incredible. To, to shit talk when you're... This is like... I, I just... I, <laughs> it's amazing. The lack of self-awareness is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> Liberator is still causing massive problems right now. Pudgy Tr Pulchy is trying to make the insane comeback. Building two commands and is in the top side. The Liberator is going to deal with that Marine. Just keep building Vikings. You need gas. You need gas, Poultry. Please get gas. Oh my god. Poultry is still way down on the income, of course. But as the main base mines out, I don't even know if Sneaky Turtle knows how to lift a command center off. Sneaky Turtle really, uh, clearly is deficient in understanding how to play StarCraft. These Marines are going to kill those Liberators. These two Marines, by the way, have been peppering like every Lib that rallies past them all game. And so they always arrive a little bit damaged on the other side of the map. Let's watch these Liberators siege up in range of the missile turrets again. Sneaky Turtle there going for the drive straight into two missile turrets strategy. That's a very high level maneuver. But these SCVs are the last ones. Stim Marine's going to try to come down to defend. Oh no. Every SCV that dies is irreplaceable right now, but only one dies. Two of them deep in the red. The Marines get in there. They take aggro and take them all down. The command center is finished there. It's finished there. They're not mining. There's no gas mining. He's going to start taking a gas down here. That Widow Mine could be deadly for these Marines. Libs are going to once again fly into the missile turrets. Oh my god. Oh, the great thing is in a video game, you don't die after impaling yourself on that, that pointy stick in the ground. So Sneaky Turtle's the person who impales themselves, gets the second chance, they respawn, and then they do it again. And then again. Oh, it's like, okay, cool, I killed two SCVs, but you lose the Liberator. Like, what are you doing, mate? How can you be this bad? <laughs> and you still have no transition. No, no, no solid transition at all. It's just rallying libs, which is still taking damage from those 1-1 one, one marines. That barracks gets cancelled. Poultry gets a, a partial refund. Looks like the Widow Mine did go down. The Missile Turret must have seen it, but the Liberator does take out all of those marines, and that is a big problem right now for Poultry. Poultry's in huge trubs, but it's building SCVs there and there, which means the income's getting back up. The tar Another Liberator goes down. The Silver League turrets have him cornered. That there's no way there's no way out. That Liberator's dead. They can't even get out of here. The Marine on the right side, remember, has 1-1 one, one and Stim. No combat shields. Combat shields would be huge, but these Marines are simply winning these fights. The Widow Mine actually survived. It must have been underneath that Liberator, but I did not see it. And Sneaky Turtle right this at this point is honestly... I, I mean, it's impressive that he hasn't been able to finish this game. It's, it's all... Just build any units that actually fight. The, the great problem here is Sneaky Turtle is just not building any units that you can just attack me. It's like, dude, just take two bases, take five barracks, make stim, A move Marines. Easiest victory of your life, right? There's no way Poultry's back in this game. Yet Sneaky Turtle is taking so long and he's running like four Marines at a time. Despite that, massive damage again. But 
Poultry may lose this base, but he's building barracks and starports up here. Continues to build SCVs and the power of actually building things versus a player who's floating 1300 minerals while doing nothing at home. Oh my god, that you could only see this in the gutter of the ladder. It's fantastic. And no hate on either of the players or anyone else who's playing at that level. Just massive hate for Sneaky Turtle for shit talking while being objectively really bad. It's like anyone can be bad at a video game, but it takes a truly special person to be bad at a video game and to talk with such confidence. Now, there hasn't been any chatter since the easy question mark. I'm still questioning the meatball insult earlier. I'm still a little bit confused about Sneaky Turtle in general, but uh, Sneaky Turtle, remember, has no map awareness as well. So it has no idea about this base up there or this base. Poultry's back in the lead. Poultry's mining off two bases, has a little bit of production up, hasn't got gas mining, which is the big problem. Marine stim in, but the Widow Mine. Oh my god, that Widow Mine keeps doing so much splash. The Liberator flies into a missile turret again. Sneaky Turtle's like, these turrets, that's the important thing to kill right now. Having very little understanding of killing their economy and shutting down their income is how you win a StarCraft game. Sneaky Turtle's like, nah, just running around the map killing missile turrets. Uh, he's gonna move the Widow Mine up the ramp first. I mean, there are Marines building, but I think they're building up the top at this point. Marines are gonna breach the ramp. More Liberators coming across and once again getting peppered by those Marines. More Marines and Widow Mines coming, and that's a big problem because Widow Mines have caused huge problems for poultry in this game. Now, whether poultry comes back or not, shout out to poultry because as a player who's not high level to go and start... Ex Why are we building more missile turrets? How is that? How is that the priority right now? You have two Marines, just build more fighting units. How is missile turrets always the priority of every low level terror player? I do not understand. I don't understand. Like, like I get adding static defense a lot more at a lower level because it helps you out. But like the number of times I see players are like, no, 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 we have nothing else. It, you know, like right now we're in a crocodile infested swamp. We're hanging out where we're fighting for survival. Uh, there's a whole lot of creatures as well as marauding brigands who are trying to kill our settlement. Um, we need a surface to air missile site. And you're like, what? I'm like, yeah, just, just in case there's a bombing run. I'm like, there's a crocodile who literally ate six of the children in our settlement yesterday. Like we probably should build a spear or a gun or something to try and defend ourselves from the crocodile first. And he's like, no, 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 no. We need surface-to-air missile sites. We need those to stop them from doing bombing runs. You're like, ah, priorities are hurting me right now. And of course, a fusion core goes down because that's the priority. You don't even, oh my God. <laughs> well, you got planetaries up, so at least these bases are going to be hard to kill. But the two Marines only barely damage that, that planetary. Now remember, Sneaky Turtle, oh! Sneaky Turtle knows how to how to move workers from one base to the other, but doesn't know how to rally this command center to the other base. So only knows to build SCVs from one command center at a time. Could be building two workers at once. Double the income production is like, nah, I'm not... Can't change a rally point to a different base. What do you think? What do you think this is, mate? Sneaky Turtle has cleared out the production in the main base. At this point, Sneaky Turtle should, if, if, if they were intelligent, go and find these other bases. But in, unfortunately, the scouting mission is another Liberator flying into missile turrets. It's amazing because everything Poultry is doing is, is in terms of Paradise and Turrets, should be so bad, and yet it's so good against a player who does nothing but run Liberators into your Missile Turrets all game. Like, just putting a sharp stick in the ground against an intelligent enemy who has a, a, the ability to reason and, and problem solve should not be a good strategy. It should be a small thing to slow in advance that is totally, totally extra. The Marines here. Oh my god, don't fight it to the planetary. What are you doing, Sneaky Turtle? The planetary just blasts like eight Marines. Now this is, we saw this in the last game. Sneaky Turtle, when they run into a brick wall, they basically run back and forwards in front of it going, Ugh. Sneaky Turtle has never figured out how to go around and do damage elsewhere. Basically just headbutts repeatedly into the same situation. Unfortunately, Poultry does lose the Marines, but on the other hand, Poultry has a Battlecruiser. If that Battlecruiser gets this base down, that would be massive. Now, this still just lives an unupgraded Marines building. And guess what? There's actual reactors building. Poultry is going to get 1-1 one, one Stim Marines out. This SCV finally scouts this other base. Sneaky Turtle should go around and get on top of the production. But can Sneaky Turtle problem solve? Can Sneaky Turtle on the fly figure out how to make an intelligent move in a game of StarCraft. My instincts say no, but hey, the Liberator actually is gonna siege up and get some damage done on the workers. That could be effective. My question, guys, is do 20 unupgraded Marines, actually, sorry, they have plus one attack. Do they beat a Battlecruiser? I think if the Planetary gets any shots off, they definitely don't. 
Um, I think if the Battlecruiser it micros so it runs away, they definitely don't beat it either, simply because most of them won't be fighting. If the Battlecruiser just flies over them, they might do all right, especially if that Widowmine can land. Uh, still 25 SCVs to 23 main bases mined out completely, so it's one base with one worker mining gas versus one base with two gases and a third gas guys that's kind of mining the widow mine not quite able to complete its shot there as it is burrowed behind the gas this is honestly just stunning to me can you guys believe like th there's a part of me that was laughing at this and making fun at this point though i kind of just miss being at this level of an rts i'll never be there again you know i've learned too many fundamentals like i can pick up an rts and just you know have enough fundamental concepts to be like oh i'll just keep spending my money and spamming things even if i don't know what any of the units do you know, I'll never freeze up this bad and get in a game quite like this, but it reminds me of the old days of being, you know, being a kitty or being a bit less experienced and kind of running back and forwards in the game and just weird situations happening and egos getting involved even though we didn't really know how to play. It's, it's fantastic. It's amazing. And I got to say, Pudgy Poultry, I think, has really gritted their teeth and is trying to hang on quite well. It's going to go after that Liberator, but maybe not the best stim there. Those BCs really should get a move on because they're build they're letting Sneaky Turtle build Vikings and also mass turret on a mined out base. That is that is peak Starcraft right there. None protecting the only economy that's remaining, but let's build six missile turrets in the main. I mean, this here is just primo problem solving, guys. This is you can really tell that these players definitely don't have tunnel vision nor stare at just one thing at a time for the entire game. For some reason, the factory is down here. By the way, who knows why? Uh, Battlecruisers are going to go for a run by that base and still not really mining too much. This base doing okay. Mass Marine with 1-1. One, one. The lack of combat shields does hurt. The BCs are going to run in, try and take out this factory right now. And honestly, I feel like I'm watching two geriatric old uh, people in wheelchairs who are very softly hitting each other with their walking sticks without getting up out of the chair. I have no idea how it's going to end. What I do know is that oh very good yamato but the other oh they both tried to yamato the same bike oh that's what keeps happening so what happens guys is poultry keeps casting double yamato on the same viking so you'll see one fly and the other one just basically cancels at the end of its animation and is like oh i already used it because it was just about to fire out but then the target disappears um there's only two vikings and some marines the tanks are going to siege this but there's not enough vikings to beat the bcs right now sneaky turtle is going to take a third command center believe it or not and it's now got four workers mining gas. Wow. Yeah, I, I, my eyes are glued to the screen. I can't look away because for me, it's like I can often look at the size of two combatants and, you know, really estimate what's going to go on. But these beasties could just fly in and die at this point. I would imagine poultry is going to bring it back because the beasties, as long as they don't die, should win the fight. Oh, he's going for the tanks. I don't know about that, buddy. Planetary is already dead. Don't lose the beasties. This is what I'm talking about. The Marines, most of them are getting gunned down without actually shooting in return. And that's the problem, is because the BCs have one more range on the Marines and can move and shoot, which the Marines cannot do. Marines, unless they have stim and can get right underneath with a stutter step micro, the BCs will take him out. And Pudgy Poultry's got this renewable resource in these BCs. They're going to get so much value. And I just don't know if Sneaky Turtle can ever outproduce that with the, the macro powers of a piece of wet spaghetti. You know, if we're talking about the macro power of Pudgy Poultry, it's, 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 a, it's a dried up ramen noodle off the kitchen floor that you step on and go, ow, what's that? You know, it's one of those. You go, ah, but there's a bit of texture to it, a bit of stiffness. On the other hand, Sneaky Turtle's macro is like that bit of wet spaghetti that's caught, spaghetti that's kind of half sticking down the drain in your sink, but half sticking out. You kind of, uh, and you fish it out of there and it's all slimy and gross and there's a hair wrapped around it. And I just don't know if you're going to be able to keep up with the efficiency of two battle cruisers when you're, I mean, it's all, okay, actually there's a lot of Vikings. Oh, those Marines are getting hammered though, man. The BCs running and wrecking, but the Vikings are coming. Those BCs need to get out of there. Those Vikings and the Liberator could take them. For some reason, Sneaky Turtle runs the Liberator in front. I don't know why Sneaky Turtle is like always focusing on this stuff like that. The Vikings get Yamato. The BCs walk away. If the Marines stim down, they can easy kill those Vikings. Let's see if Pudgy does it. You've got to save that BC. Save the BC. Oh no, the BC's going to die. Accidentally selects the BC. But the Marines are going to get all of these Vikings. These guys need to get out of here. The tank siege is up, as does the Liberator. The Marines could have easily jumped on that and just cleared all of this out. And they're still they're going to do it now. They do have to do another stim. If they can get rid of that tank, that would be big. But, oh, they're so damaged. 1-1 one, one and stim is good. But, I mean, I think they look like they will get overrun. Just a bit too damaged there. There are two more command centers up for poultry, though. Could transfer workers and, you know, get more workers on those minerals. Repairing this BC, absolutely paramount right now. 
four more marines and three SCVs are queuing up. Poultry is broke. And that's a big problem. It looks like poultry is a bit far behind. If you can't get marines out to defend these Vikings, you're going to be in trouble. The Vikings are going to land, which, of course, if this bunker unloads, the marines will take care of it. The Vikings aren't fighting the marines. They were shooting the fusion core. But despite that, no combat shields, and the marines are going to eventually beat the Vikings. Oh, the Vikings try to lift off. I think they should have just stood their ground and fought as Marines do outrun them. Marines get back in the bunker. The BC still has not been healed up. The Vikings going to try and find that top right base. This is a big problem for Pudgy Poultry, who is not managing to keep pace. And this here is, is what you could only see down in, in the Metal Leagues, the very lower Metal Leagues, the Wood Leagues of StarCraft. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And it really is. Like, you can see the strategy between the players, but you can taste it, you know? It's kind of like we get to see everything like we've got phones and internet and, and they're still working waiting for carrier pigeons to get back any information about what's happened on the map that's the pace they're playing at we've got carrier pigeon starcraft going on and that might be just a term we have to stick with in the future whenever the players are uh, a little slow on that speed this viking could land and kill the scvs they could land vikings and kill the scvs sneaky turtle though goes right past and says no 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 i would like to land my vikings and fight your marines uh, definitely can't say this is the wisest idea. BCs still are probably a very good unit to be using. Uh, if only Poultry got a Tech Lab Barracks and Shields, that would be really good. These Marines, oh no, they're actually getting owned on the low ground. But for some reason, the Vikings lift off. Oh, they're trying to do like fancy high ground, low ground micro. Sneaky Turtle here going for the, the fanciest of micro. But that means you are presenting a target for these Marines to stim on. And Pudgy Poultry's got much better upgraded Marines. The Vikings need to get out of here. Sneaky Turtle could go over the cliff and get away figures that out but only after two vikings go down behind this we've got one marine building still not building workers zero macro behind it it is stunning to me usually when players lose their army like that they go home they build their cvs sneaky turtle just builds a few more marines a tank and then goes back to staring at the army it's it's amazing mass turrets going up oh poultry please you've got no minerals please stop building missile turrets it's hurting my soul that look he, look I know it took 24 minutes, but Sneaky Turtles learned their lesson and stopped building Liberators. Mostly, I would say, because you built BCs, so they wanted Vikings. That's the only reason. But please stop massing turrets when you're broke. <laughs> On the other hand, hats off to Poultry for having 40 SCVs. They actually have way more money. If they could just also change rally points and transfer workers to other bases, it would be such a big food to them. <laughs> oh, what a game. The Marines are stepping down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sneaky Turtle gets caught. Ow, Sneaky Turtle derping around. The Vikings aren't even fighting. And Pudgy Poultry gets a massive... Is that it? Is that it? Did Pudgy Poultry just win this game? I think Pudgy Poultry just won this game. There's no units out. There's one Viking, six Marines. 44 SCVs versus 25. SCV production starts. Okay, so that's what needed to happen. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. And change the rally point. But the rally point for the command center is to a different SCV that is building turrets of their own. <gasps> what are you doing? Why are you both spamming turrets? This is the, uh, just such bad StarCraft. It hurts my soul. Wait, wait, where's... So this one's rallied to its own base. That one's rallied to this other SCV. So these guys are having a little meeting. And this one is not rallied at all. So the SCVs are popping out and just standing there. My God. Dude, if you guys ever want to... If you ever want to get a job and you somehow are teleported into the future in the Capri Lu sector, if you see the uh, the Sneaky Turtle Corporation hiring for an SCV role, go for it. 90% of the time you get to sit around hanging out with your bros, smoking some terrazine gas, maybe, you know, rolling, rolling up a, a terrazine joint and just having a good old time. They're all just standing around doing nothing for 90% of this game. You've had two minutes to prepare and you massed turrets on this base and not a single one on the third. How? 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 What even, like, is your understanding of Star The Marines are like, low ground, high ground, low ground, high ground. It's like, wait, you're going to lose this fight. Anyway, that's a 33 kill battle cruiser right now. That there is some cattle bruising action, if you know what I'm talking about. You can see its little laser guns just pew, pew, pewing. 38 kills. And of course, the double Ghost Academy transition comes in. I love that we've seen sort of the same order of units coming out of Sneaky Turtle. Like, this is clearly the build they just go for. They're like, yeah. And then I go go Marines and Liberators. And then I'll make double Ghost production of 23 SCVs. And you're like, really? Battlecruiser will get taken out by the Vikings, unfortunately. Did not even turn to fight. But the Mass Marine and the Medivacs are now out. Building Medivacs one at a time. And you've got income. There's no answer to this. I mean, a planetary fortress does very well versus marines, so it's hard to get in there. But Poultry drops that main base. The only thing standing in the way is a single widow mine, which cannot stop that number of marines. Pudgy Poultry is building more turrets. Because that's the important thing. You've got mass turret here, mass turret here, but like, but what if he goes through the middle and get it's like 
You have 80 Marines. I think you'll be okay, buddy. But uh, what can I say, guys? High level StarCraft is high level StarCraft. These SCVs are blitzed out of their mind on Terrazine. Don't worry, guys. They're not going to feel any pain when they go down. Um, honestly, if you just mass repair a Sneaky Turtle, I don't think your Planetary loses this fight. If you just mass repair. If you just... If you just mass repair! Please! Oh my god, Sneaky Turtle! Oh my god! Doesn't even pull all the SCVs. Pulls them at the last second, finally. And despite that, the Planetary wins the fight! No! Oh my god, we just saw 50, 44 Marines attack a planetary and kill two SCVs. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've talked a lot about how until you get to about Diamond League, if you build a planetary and just sit there behind it and then just keep building new planetaries and like doing harassment every now and then, it has an insanely high win rate because up until Diamond League, most players of all factions... Even the faction that can build planetaries know how strong they are. They'll look at it and they go, Oh, I should attack that with like six roaches and four zerglings. I think that could beat it. Like, like the fights just make no sense. Like now, non-combat shield marines, you might think, oh, but he's got no support for it. It's just a planetary. Yeah, if you have like 80 marines with 2-2 two, two, and combat shields, or if you have a bunch of marauders in there, or siege tanks shooting it. Sure, you could go for that fight, but to do it with just a big ball of marines mega clumped like that, taking maximum splash, a nasty decision. And it almost feels like Sneaky Turtle should be back in the game for it. But then we look at Sneaky Turtle's production tab and remember that Sneaky Turtle is beyond incompetent. Still has one, two, three idle workers there. Four idle workers, including the fusion core. I don't know why there's a fusion core. It's still not mining gas properly on the natural or mining at all on the third base. Hasn't moved this command center down. It's just turned... Guys, the main just got turned into an orbital. Finished at 29 minutes. That is an absolute record. And okay, Pudgy Poultry's figured it out. How to go around the planetary and win this game. That Widowmine could do big damage. Uh, and it almost certainly will do a very big shot. The Liberator's going to siege up. But there's so many Marines here. Poultry can still just stim forward for the win. One of the starports goes down. Poultry does a bit of a scanny scan. There's no tanks. It's a single Liberator. This is a situation you can stim in because it does not do splash damage. The medevacs, unfortunately, are moving into missile turret range. So, oh, just ow, 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 oh, ah, 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 the micro, it hurts, it hurts. <laughs> Why did we just throw all our medevacs away? We could have done that maneuver while keeping the medevacs fine. But I think it doesn't matter. Pudgy Poultry took so much damage. Let's, let's, let's just remember, as it looks like finally Poultry is going to win this game. Poultry... Lost the main, the natural, the third. Took a fourth, lost the fourth. This is the fifth base, sixth base, seventh base. Rebuilt from down to, I think, maybe five or ten workers at some point in the game. Sneaky Turtle was untouched on their side of the map. Sneaky Turtle, as we said, we used the analogy of the Victoria's Secret model earlier. I mean, it was like three Victoria's Secret models sitting on his lap. And he was like, no, just can't get it. Just can't get it going. And you're like, really? Really, Sneaky Turtle? And I think we know the reason why, considering Sneaky Turtle's insults in the previous game, they might be a little bit repressed and maybe just not quite their flavor, if you know what I'm saying. And there's nothing wrong with that, but definitely shouldn't be throwing uh, stones from glass houses, if you know what I mean. Pudgy Poultry is going to move those Marines around the backside. Please just hold position away from the planetaries. Come on, Pudgy Poultry. And hats off to Pudgy Poultry for staying calm and collected. I mean, I, I got to say, you did build 400 turrets when it was one of the worst things you could do, but somehow they actually killed some stuff. Um, and, and most importantly, just the fact that the command center is rebuilt and just started building SCVs and rebuilt production and rebuilt units and rebuilt production and rebuilt turrets and rebuilt and just kept re-expanding and, and fighting back from behind. You know, it's so easy to get defeatist in these modes, but you got to remember, even at Diamond League, even at Masters, even in GM, crazy comebacks happen. I made a comeback from down 100 supply last week. Did my opponent screw up? Sure. But even pros screw up when they're ahead. I was casting a game before where Dark screwed up. He was way ahead versus Oliveira time and, and messed that one up as well. What the fuck is wrong with you, you piece of shit? Jesus, says Sneaky Turtle. So Sneaky Turtle, once again, realizing they've lost this game, is not happy about it. Remember, Sneaky Turtle has to realize, I killed your main natural in third. I was so far ahead. Pudgy Poultry says, win better, mate. Sneaky Turtle says, that means nothing. Speak English. Speak English. Okay, I think we've just identified another facet of Sneaky Turtle's behavior. Um, Sneaky Turtle's the person who goes into the store as like do you have a phone i can use and they're like uh yeah it's uh, in the back and he just shouts i don't speak spanish 
Um, and person's like, I, what? I was speaking English. And he's like, I can't understand you, Hector. Like, that's, that, that might be the kind of person Sneaky Turtle is, you know? No, 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 not the coolest guy. Seriously, the game was over like eight times. What's actually wrong with you? Vulture's like, oh, cool. I mean, if it was over, you should have just finished it, right? No, you worthless piece of shit. Poultry Poultry's saying, oh, you're still as salty as last time, eh? And at this point, Poultry, I think any time they play Sneaky Turtle, is going to know. If I just survive, my opponent has no follow through. They have one good punch, and there's nothing behind it. There is nothing behind it. Yeah, because you're bad-mannered as fuck. Poultry with the question marks. Dude, the game was flat out over. Okay, so Sneaky Turtle right now is wrestling with reality. This is something we've seen many times in the Salt Mines. Saying, the game was over. You should have left. You lost the game. The only reason you're winning now is because you refuse to accept that you would lose the game. You just would not GG. Winning what? You didn't win shit, Breath. What did you win? What did you win? I won the game. I won the game. You just didn't leave. You're bad mannered. That's why you're winning now. You're bad mannered. You're bad mannered. Um, for those pig, why are you being over dramatic? Clearly, Sneaky Turtle's just a, a calm human. I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes I get overly dramatic. You can tell Sneaky Turtle definitely graduated with a philosophy degree. Very good at logic. Just unreal. You're literally just a prick. Round two of poultry going for the planetary and Sneaky Turtle not repairing. <gasps> You're literally just a prick. And are we going to go back to the homosexual slurs or are we going to go somewhere else? You didn't expand at all this whole time, you entitled idiot. Pudgy Poultry finally letting some of that sting out. You're not going to beat that planetary, mate. Well, I guess if he doesn't repair, you could. Poultry winning in the least efficient fashion. This is going to delay the game even longer, but it will give us more of that delicious salt. So you know what? Maybe Poultry learning from Florencio. He also focuses quite a bunch of the SCVs down, so not the worst move in the world. As Sneaky Turtle here accepting defeat. 44 kills on this planet. The BC teleports in the middle of three turrets. One of the worst teleports of all time, but also, got to argue, one of the most insulting ones. Nice cloak on the ghost. Does uh, Poultry know how to scan to kill that, I wonder? We'll find out. The ghost shooting it for a measly 8 damage a shot. <laughs> 8 damage after the 3 armors taken off that plus 1 ghost. The Battlecruiser just chipping away. What runs out first? The Battlecruiser's 100 hit points or the ghost 25 energy? I think the Battlecruiser dies first, but Marines and Tanks are coming in. I don't think Poultry realizes there's a ghost there. I don't think I don't think Poultry has any idea that this Battlecruiser's dying right now. You controlled the whole map and didn't use it, says Poultry. Poultry's like, mate, this defeat is yours and yours alone. Uh, a nuke is trying to be called in on the marines and the tanks, but it's on a ghost that's about to run out of energy. Not your wisest move, Sneaky Turtle. Could have used the other one and it would have landed. Oh, damn. Yeah, because I was expecting a GG any second. That's why, that's why I didn't expand, as any decent player would have done. Any decent player would have GG'd, but you stayed in it. I've watched Maru, and Maru instantly leaves games when he's behind, like a decent player would, because he's not bad mannered like you. I love it. I like to imagine the world through the goggles of, of Sneaky Turtle and a lot of people in this, in this show. And it really is fascinating just to think about what their life is like. Maybe not everyone is a dumbass who surrenders when they know they can win. With no manners, lol, you have no idea how this game is played. Give me your address. I'm gonna, oh, give me your address. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. Oh yeah, this is disgusting. This is the set. Seriously, give, give. Pudgy Poultry says, check your mum's house, mate. If you, if you go over to your mum's house, you can find me there in bed with your mum. A desperate, desperate insult. The give me your address, that is one of the saddest. Like, that's when you know you've won. If someone asks for your address online and says they're going to do some real violence to you, they make a threat like that, not only is it disgusting, but it's also a sign that you've won because they have lost all semblance of, 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 of absolute, like, you know, understanding of their social situation, all awareness of the reality they're in and how they're behaving. It's gone. It's okay. I'll find out who you are and have you taken care of. That's exactly what she said to me after the fifth go around last night. Pudgy poultry, it's juvenile, but I gotta say, I've got, I, I'm down with it. I'm down with it. When someone's talking like this, I'm down with the juvenile insights. Buddy, we both know you have the libido of an 80 year old man. Wait, 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 wait. Sneaky Turtle was hiding in the cupboard when he was with Sneaky Turtle's mom. Sneaky Turtle knows about the accident that night. He'd had a few drinks. Come on, Pudgy poultry had had a few drinks. You can't blame him. It's weirder that you were watching and know about that than it is that Pudgy Poultry had that accident, which we can all relate to. I don't know about you in the comments. I, we've all had those moments where we can't perform under pressure. But I got to say, in this video game moment, Sneaky Turtle, you put a lot of pressure on. And Pudgy Poultry didn't break. They performed under pressure, fought back from behind, <laughs> and actually played a game of StarCraft. Was it slow? Yes. Do they have an unhealthy obsession with missile turrets? 
definitely <laughs> at this point bordering on weird StarCraft fetish. Yes, but did they keep on bouncing around and doing different tasks and keep an eye on the strategy game rather than fiddling with their Liberators, Widow Mines and Unupgraded Marines for 36 minutes? Yes. And that's why they won the game, because they're the better StarCraft player. Hats off to you, Pudgy Poultry, and what a goddamn saga. This is the longest episode by far of the Salt Mines. Thanks to everyone who stuck with us. This is madness. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy people raging, click on a video. Cut it off right now. It's already been way too much insanity for one day. Go and watch some good, healthy content of normal humans. This is a guilty pleasure for all of us. Space it out. Don't binge too many of these episodes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Goodbye and good night.